Goodwill store. Let's check it out. Let's see what they have. Woo! Ooh, Goodwill. 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 And another Goodwill store. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. And in today's episode, we're going to check out a couple of Goodwill stores in America. I filmed this during my road trip this summer across the American East Coast. And I visited a couple of Goodwill stores together with the administrator. And the first thing I want to say is, wow, these stores are big. And I can really understand now how some of these Americans can live of thrift store hunting. Seriously, the amount of clothing and stuff here is just ridiculous. So um, let's see what we can find. Of course, I'm gonna focus on video games, comics, action figures, and other nerdy stuff. So let's go. The first thing that catches my eye is this Turtles VHS tape. It's based off the early 2000s series. Not really my cup of tea, but it isn't really that bad compared with the nowadays 2019 uh, Turtles of Nickelodeon. Hey, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2! Secret of the U's. <sighs> Cowabunga, the new Turtles movie. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. Um, hey, weird science. Weird science. <laughs> ah, it's not a TV show, it's the movie, I guess. Let's move on, let's see what else uh, we can find here. Books, DVDs, movies, VHS tapes. Oh. R2D2, is that you? Yeah, but for three dollars, I'm leaving you at Goodwill. <laughs> you're just a little bit too expensive for my taste, and you take up too much room in my suitcase. Just a nice um, pillow, but um, yeah, nah. Let's let's check out some other stuff here. Here we have our first video games. Spoiler alert, I will find a lot more video games later on in this video. And here's nothing too special. Uh, Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, uh, the usual suspects. Nothing to be excited about. Hey, a comic behind the counter. Is it rare? Well, it's unusual. Cyber Force, a top cow superhero tune created by writer artist Mark Silvestri in 1992. Hmm. Hey, look, Wicked Gamer, they got your pants. And some other pants here. Of Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, and I don't know, Green Lantern. Hmm. Looks like I got some new clothes this winter. Ah, pajamas. <laughs> ah, CDs. Ah, CDs. And DVDs. And video games. Wow, what a mess. Everything is just thrown in here. Let's do some digging. Connect adventures. Wow, we're off to an awesome start here. Oh my God. Uh, Soldier of Fortune. Hey, this is a lot better. It's better than sports games and other common games you see at thrift stores. I love these B titles. Just, uh, especially in thrift stores. B titles in thrift stores. Now you pay just one or two euros or a couple of dollars and uh, you'll have some fun. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Limited edition Battlefield Free. I'm so fed up with limited editions. It's unbelievable. Limited editions. It do doesn't even have doesn't even have meaning anymore limited edition it's just oh, oh my god i can't believe it every new game gets a limited edition these days we sports other sports games i might pick up one of these american football games because they're not really common over here in europe uh, are these games picked through sure feels like it but Let's see. Let's, let's, let's not give up too early. Let's see what else they got here. Got a lot of games to cover, so. Uh, yay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we have here? Some more sport games. Ah, that hunting game. I always see that in the American thrift store hunting videos, but they're not really that common in Europe. Sports games, sports games, sports games, sports games. What else do we have here? The shout out. The shootout. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, an interesting uh, interesting um, games. Huh? Hey, look at this. And war. Well, at least it's not a sport game, guys. Come on. Alien vs Predator. I heard some terrible things about this one. It's made by Sega. It's got some horrible reviews. Had something to do with the E3. 
can't really get uh, my memory back on that news coverage, but I heard some awful things. It wasn't too positive. Double seven knife fire. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Not too shabby. Here we go. Away from the sports games and into the Da Vinci Goat games. <laughs> da Vinci Goat is also unreleased for the GameCube, I believe. Yeah, the game was also planned for the GameCube, but that got and Power Ring. Go, go, Power Rangers. Assassin's Creed. I'm ashamed to admit that I never played this game. I played, I played a couple of the follow up games, but I never played the original. Let's see what else they got here. Hold, hold on a minute, guys. I'm distracted. What's that sound? What's that sound? That left me speechless. I, I don't know, guys. A grown man that was acting like that. Not even a child. Oh, look at that. Assault Rigs. PlayStation game. And usually I don't get too excited about PlayStation games. But uh, look at this. A big box. It's been ages since I saw a big box PlayStation game. So uh, let alone in a thrift store. So I'm picking that one up. Let's see what else we got here. Call of Duty Ghost. Look at that! Look, the Punisher <laughs> with Dolph Lundgren. Look. Ah, man. Ah, some other games. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I might pick that one up. I like the cover. Pittsburgh Steelers do it for me. <laughs> Infinity. Yeah, we're off to the good section here. Let's see what else they got. Call of Duty, not a Call of Duty game. A Blu-ray of Star Wars Lego? Uh, maybe my son likes it, I don't know. You don't see Blu-rays that often. <laughs> well, it's been a while since I spent this much time in a video game section. Twisted Metal for PlayStation 3, whoa. Wow, oh, guys. Call of Duty combo? Whoa! This store does have some nice stuff. But, um... Yeah. The bad news is that a lot of these games... I didn't pick them up. What did you pick them up, Fleeman? Well, they were scratched, yes. <coughs> you know? And that is a thing that I noticed a lot in free stores in America. The disc, I don't know what these Americans do with their game disc and DVDs in, in general, but a lot of CDs are scratched to hell. Minecraft for the PlayStation 3, for $2. Another game that I would love to pick up, but it's scratched to hell, seriously. These games are scratched to the point that I, I'm, I, I doubt that they even work. So, um, yeah. Another thing that I wanted to point out that was really mind-boggling for me as a European is that I, I filmed this during the summer and they have Christmas stuff in frit stores not just this particular st frit store but in a lot of frit stores I saw Christmas stuff and like I was like why and and Halloween stuff now nah, alright the Halloween stuff is cool to see them because we don't really do that as Europeans but I, I don't get it I mean nobody's gonna buy this in the summer right or or do that I don't know but it just felt awkward. I've been thrift store hunting for years, so there aren't a lot of things that let make me say whoa or what? But here we go. An American football helmet on a lamp. Uh, it's it's yeah, one of those things that was amazing and we wanted to buy it but once again how do we even get that on the plane in the suitcase it's just too big or we could buy it and mail it back but uh, uh no uh it's, it's, yeah weird to see that weird to see that here's some turtle stuff that's 
Shatley, not retro or old school, but newer. Harry Potter, what's up, bro? And uh, let's see what else we got here. Xmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, hello, Mr. Cookie. I bought this board. I really liked it. It's a present for my mom when she bakes cookies for us at Christmas. Here you go, mom. Love you. And uh, some other Christmas plates or boards. And I wanted to pick up these, but yeah, I don't think that they will survive the trip. Have you seen those uh, uh, guys that work at the airfield and how they handle suitcases? Uh, no, this, 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 that's not gonna end well. Ah, DVDs, one euro. Sadly, no games here. Really wanted to show you guys this one. Really loved it. It's some sort of calendar with all the American uh, holidays. Like uh, the Furky stands for uh, Thanksgiving, the pumpkin for Halloween. I don't know what a pineapple is for, and we have the snowman and Christmas, and I really love this one. Very unique. Another overview of a uh, Goodwill. Look at all the clothes. And a pinball machine? No, no, sadly no. But once again, these stores are amazing, and I hope to visit them once uh, more. Um, maybe next year. Look at this. This is also insane. Star Trek: The Next Generation, Genesis, the audio tape. Yeah, the audio book. So if you want to listen to uh, somebody telling you uh, the story, the book, the movie of Star Trek. No, not interested people. Uh, okay, all right, I'll shut up. I'll just leave that alone and move along. An old typewriter. <laughs> Guitar Hero. For the Wii, I guess? Yeah, for the Wii. Hey, <laughs> look at that. A plug and play arcade. I really wanted to pick this one up, but if it was one or two dollars, I would have picked that up, but it was five dollars, and there was some rattling inside. It did power on, however, but it rattled, and I was like, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy uh, junk here, so I left it, but Activision, that's kind of interesting. I wonder which games were on that machine, that little plug-and-play, but uh, no, nah, it was too much of a gamble. I just... I think, yeah, it powers on, guys, but I think I would just throw my money away. The rattling inside is not a good sign. Previously on X-Men, we have to solve this puzzle, Xavier. Let's see. Are there some lost Pokemon cards in here? Some Magic the Gathering cards? Mm, nope! Hey, what up Iron Man? High five man! Have not seen you in a while bro, let's fist bump! Yeah, Psh, mm, yeah! Where is Waldo? I don't fucking know! Last time I saw him he had his own NES game! Maybe he's inside this box. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, here you go. There he is. Where's Waldo? He's there. On the front. And that card. That Waldo is one weird dude, man. But, um, this board man game, it might be quite valuable. I don't know. I'm not interested in it anyway. I want Hero Quest. Let's check out the shopping cart of the administrator. He has some football jerseys in here, can't blame him, they look top notch. He has a poker book, well, he's a former Dutch champion after all. And he got the Switch guide for Mario Kart 8, haha, <laughs> deluxe. Sorry about that. Thank you. Always stay polite people, always stay polite. Um, keyboard, yeah, my wife would love this, and it's a Yamaha one. I think that this one is quite expensive, but I'm not really sure. And once again, same old story, but how on earth am I going to get this with me on the plane in the suitcase? 
<laughs> well, maybe next time I'll travel with three or four cases. Who knows? Thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the left pickup, leftover, <laughs> the pickups uh, montage to see what I got. And uh, yeah, it's not always sunny in America. Here we go.